copying, especially in the context of creative works like writing, art, and other forms of expression, is a complex and controversial topic. And let me be clear from right off the bat that I do not support plagiarism. It is stealing and a cruel thing to do to a creator. We put in so much work into writing and creating art, and before using any work, the creator should be honored and credited in some ways. And if you're new here, my name is Ngozi Edema. I love children's books. I love stories. I love the world of self-publishing. And it is my work to help you navigate this area. So if you are interested in any of these, remember to hit the follow, the subscribe, or even the like button so you get to know about the latest. Why there might be situations where copying can be considered acceptable or even beneficial it's important to note or understand the nuances and the ethical considerations involved when you are considering whether to copy or not. So if you're writing, here are some perspectives on why copying might be considered okay in certain circumstances. If you have, if you have children or you've ever watched someone's children, you will notice their ability to copy everyone or everything around them. They may copy big brother or big sister or copy mom or dad. That is one of the major ways that children learn until they settle for what works best for them. Sadly, as we grow older, we may not take note of what others are doing around us and miss out on this fundamental way of learning that is copying existing art. There are four ethical areas where copying can be considered okay. Number one, when you are learning a new skill. If you're a beginner writer, it is okay to copy, analyze, and mimic the techniques and styles of established writers. If it is already out there and has stood the test of time, chances are they are working. Why reinvent the wheel when all you need to do is to change the gear and adapt things to suit you and to suit your style of writing? Checking out what is already there will help you develop your own skills, your styles, and help you to understand the crafts of writing. If you're writing a children's book, for instance, it is a great idea to go to the library, to go to bookstores, to look at what is already out there. You can copy book design cover, you can copy writing styles and trim sizes. These things are always recycled and reused by people. So look at what is working, recycle and we reuse them number two when you are tr paying tribute to the original author it is okay to copy when you get permission and give credit to an original work or the artist creating a work inspired by someone else's creation can be a form of flattery and a way to celebrate their influence in your writing i am creating a medium content book for instance and i am putting quotes from other people in my book their quote is going to add value to my book and it must be credited. So if you have a direct quotation or an excerpt from a book, please flatter the author by crediting it to them. You can copy for educational purpose. In educational setting, copy might be used as an exercise to help students understand, analyze existing work. Again, get permission to print, to distribute. It can serve as a foundation for discussions about style, composition, and storytelling techniques. I use established authors to teach myself and to teach others. When you're using it as a derivative work, many creative works are inspired by or build upon existing ideas. We see this in all facets of life, not only in writing. Technology, for instance, what we enjoy today is because of the hard work of the generations before us. Look at the electric cars, for instance. The first electric car was made by William Morrison in the 1800s. Well, he too was inspired by others before him who made steam vehicles powered by wood or coal. Today, electric vehicles are not only popular, but many believe they may soon replace gas-powered vehicles. Creating derivative works inspired by others may include adaptations, parodies, and transform transformative pieces. And it can contribute to the cultural development of creative content. Copying greatness is cute. 
we are all sitting on the shoulders of those before us. However, there are situations where copying might be considered unacceptable. There are also strong arguments against it. And ethical concerns, copying without proper permission and crediting the original creator can infringe on their intellectual property and diminish their creative efforts. A lack of originality. Copying can hinder the, the development of one's own original ideas and creative voice. It may lead to a lack of innovation and diversity in creative content. Basically, you'll be stalling your own growth. Direct copying of someone else's work without proper credit is considered plagiarism, a serious ethical violation in academia, art, and other creative fields. Stifling creativity. Over emphasis on, on copying may discourage creativity, limiting the potential for groundbreaking and original creations. And it could lead to legal issues. Copying can lead to legal consequences, including copyright infringement claims and potential lawsuits. In summary, whether you choose to copy or not should be given serious considerations. Why there are instances where copying might have educational advantages, it's important to approach copying with ethical consideration and to always respect the rights and the contributions of original creators. Balancing the benefits of learning from existing work with the responsibility of fostering creativity, respecting intellectual property is essential. Keep writing, keep creating, and keep getting inspired by others.